guys. Today's video is a really great turkey crock pot recipe. I found this on Pinterest and I made this for Thanksgiving and it's a great turkey crock pot dish to make any day of the year. Um, I like to make it especially during the holidays because you can put it in your crock pot, forget it, let it cook for seven or eight hours, go about your business doing all the other side dishes or shopping or whatever it is that you need to do. And when it's done cooking, it turns out so delicious. I hope you get to try this. If you do, let me know in the comments below and please give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos. Now on to the, I have my crock pot on. This is the largest crock pot I have. It's set to warm. I don't like to put um, any protein or any items in my crock pot when it's cold. So I like to have it warming before I put anything inside it. So this recipe calls for a can of cranberry sauce. Um, I am doubling up the recipe because I'm putting two small turkeys in my crock pot, um, salt and pepper, I'm also adding a little bit of gar garlic powder, um, a packet of Lipton onion soup mix, and a cup of orange juice. So like I said, I'm doubling up the recipe, but um, if you're just doing one small turkey, it'd be a cup of orange juice, a packet of this, and one can of this, and any seasoning to taste. Okay, and then you just mix it all up in your bowl or mixing cup and you just pour it over the turkey. I got these turkeys um, from my grocery store. They were frozen and I have been defrosting them for a couple days in the fridge and they are Butterball Turkey Breast Roast. So it's like a compressed turkey and it's just all breast. And so I got two of them because they're fairly small and I'm going to put them both in my crock pot and that's why I'm doubling up my recipe. All right, that's what the turkey looks like out of the packaging. It's got some netting on there to keep the turkey in a, a form, I guess. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just leave that on there. It's much easier to take it out once it's cooked. And I'm gonna go ahead and season it with some salt and pepper. So I'm going to go ahead and add the Lipton and then soup mix into my Pyrex. I got orange juice with no pulp. And I'm going to put two cups of that in here. And this is a two cup Pyrex, so I'm just gonna put a little bit over. It's fine. Now I'm not gonna have enough room to put my cranberry sauce in there, so I'm gonna need to get a mixing bowl. That sure seems like a lot of cranberry sauce. Turkey doesn't have a lot of flavor, so you want to give it a lot of seasoning. Orange juice and my onion soup mix. Stir that up. You're just going to pour the mixture over your turkey. Okay. Pop your lid. And I'm going to go ahead and move it to high and let it cook for about six to seven hours. Um, if it's cooked before seven hours, go ahead and turn it down to low and just keep it there um, until you're ready to eat. 
Okay, here's what it looks like after seven hours. It's brown, it's bubbly, it's cooked all the way through, and it's ready to eat. So, um, go ahead and put it on a plate and show you what it looks like. Okay, I have taken the turkey out of the crock pot, shredded it, and put some of the juice, and it's just in a big pan so people can just grab it with a spoon, a serving spoon or some tongs and put it on their plate. They don't have to worry about skin or bones. And this is chicken breast, sorry, turkey breast, but it's still very juicy and very flavorful. Okay guys, I have plated up the crock pot turkey breast. Um, I've made some mashed potatoes and some stuffing and I tasted it and it's delicious. It is so good. It's got so much flavor. That cranberry sauce gives it a a hint of sweetness and it's so delicious i hope you try this guys let me know how it comes out for you um please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe for more until next time stay creative and happy holidays